With just weeks until some students head back to the classrooms, local leaders have a big decision to make regarding these masks that have become a big part of our wardrobe. And it's already a hot topic. As kids head back to in-person learning, will they have to wear masks or not? Monday, Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona dodging our questions about it, saying districts should follow CDC guidance. They're the health experts. It's a health pandemic. I'm going to lean on their guidance to make sure we can reopen safely and quickly. He says he'll leave it to local districts to make the ultimate decision, but parents should be heard. I also think to help build confidence, we have to make sure we're listening to our families as well. Parents like Jennifer Ray and her fifth grader at Dilworth Elementary. I don't think that we should tie the mask to the vaccines. I don't think it's one or the other. Ray wants CMS to give parents the option of masking their children, even those who are under 12 years old and cannot yet be vaccinated. She believes mask mandates should be based on COVID numbers. And where we are with the metrics, and we're just... We're not there where we, we need to be doing these things anymore or forcing them on people. The CDC already weighed in, saying students or teachers who are vaccinated do not need to wear masks inside. But students who do not have the shot should continue to wear them. And the science has showed us that we know what works to help keep schools safe and open. Other parents agree. I think they should stay wearing masks for their safety because COVID is still out here. On Tuesday, CMS will have their school board meeting in which some parents will speak out about their opinions on masks being worn. But over in Union County on Tuesday, leaders there will be voting on whether students should be mandated to wear masks inside the classroom or whether it should be an option. In West Charlotte, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte.